Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. How are you going? I hope you're well. Um, I've got a bit of a haul to show you. <laughs> I got an order from 123 Stitch. Not a huge one, just some stuff. Um, first of all, I'll show you my progress. Oh, where did I put it? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I've been working on Bella B. And I've been working mainly on this background, which takes a long time. Um, but I haven't been getting too much done. Last night I went to Mum's house um, to package up orders for her Etsy shop. She sells quilting fabric on her Etsy shop. I think I'll be back there tomorrow doing orders, so I'm going to take a video of... I'll just show you how much fabric there is. There's a lot of fabric. And if you're into sort of quilt fabric, it's like pornographic. It's wonderful. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is really pretty. I love this colour. It's um, uh, Water Lilies Wisteria. 267 Wisteria. It's just so pretty. All these pinks and purples. Just gorgeous. Yeah, so she'll be finished soon. I think I've kind of been a bit one at a time lately. I'll probably work on this till she's done. And the last couple of things I finished, I just worked on from start to finish. So, yeah, she's pretty. Um, as you can see, I obviously fixed up my dye lot issue. I think the colour looks really good. I'm not worried about that. Yep. All right, let's get onto the haul, because that's the fun bit. Okay, so I got two hoops. This is for finishing off Sir and Slut Muffin. So um, I'll be able to FFO those on the weekend, I hope. These are just six inch wooden hoops. This is all from one 2 3 stitch I got some of these little charm stockings to make as presents for, you know, Tim's parents and some family friends and so on this Christmas time, just so I have something to give when all the Christmas festivities start happening. So I got four of those, they're pretty cute. I got some of these erasable highlighters. I haven't tried them before, but I saw someone had them and I think what's what I might like about them is that they have quite small nibs, not gigantic fat ones. So hopefully it's easy to mark off small sections of a chart. Um, yeah, they're nice. Um, and I, these are the colours I use, okay? So if I'm doing, say, a heaven and earth design, I'll use the yellow to mark the symbols that I'm going to stitch. Like, I'll, I'll do all the colours in one, one little 10 by 10 row. Um, and I'll mark all the colours I'm going to stitch in yellow. And then after I stitch them, I'll cover them up in blue or pink so that they'll turn orange. Um, yeah, and then I'll use the pink or the blue to put a little dot where I park the thread. I, I sometimes do that, sometimes I don't bother. So they're good. Um, and they weren't that expensive, they were pretty good. And they're erasable, see there's like a little rubbery bit at the bottom? So I'll be interested to try those and see if they actually work or not. Um, I got various and sundry threads. I think these Krynics are the ones I need for Merchant Mermaid. I got some weeks. Um, they're the last weeks I need for Singer Sampler, which I'd like to start soon. Um, it's also the dark chocolate that I need to finish off Behold the Field. Um, there's some pearl cottons there for a Hardanger project I might start. Maybe, maybe not. If not, I've got some nice pearl cottons. Um, yeah, that's all that's in there. <laughs> Uh, I got ink circles, turtles all the way down. I don't know if you've seen this, but it's just nerdy and adorable and I love it. I've been wanting this for a long time and yeah, I'm looking forward to stitching it. It is actually charted for DMC. I thought for sure they would be over dyed threads, um, but I might just switch out greens and browns from my stash or I might use DMC. It's pretty, right? I'd like this spell pool hardware. It's not so easy to find bell pull hardware. Where do you buy bell pull hardware from? I wonder if it says on here where you can get it from. Oh yeah, bell pull hardware also available from which alt? 14 centimeter iron number 512414. There you go. Because I like bell pulls, they're nice. And they're a pretty cheap way of finishing something. A lot cheaper than framing. Um, I got some of these Just Nan little ornament things. So this is Bluebird Tweet. And it comes with all the little embellishments. Gosh, terrible glare tonight. I'm really sorry. It comes with all these little ornaments. I've also got this tin. It's called a slide. Um, that's on back order. That'll come to me soon. So I got him and I got the fabric for him as well. Um, I got Mr. Nutley Owl. There he is. You can see him. He's very cute. 
And of course his embellishments and his fabric. This is vintage country mocha. Uh, the fabric for this one was Blue Ice Belfast. I think they're all Zweiger. Sorry, I'm... everything is not piling up nicely. I want everything to be neat. Um, then I've got Little Hedgy. This is my favourite one. This is why I bought these, because I just wanted this one so badly. I think he's going to be adorable. I'm going to stitch him pretty soon, I think. He might be my new start on the 17th this month. Maybe. Uh, oh, I don't have any polyfill. Oh, you can stuff him with cotton balls. That's interesting. I never thought of that. And see, it even comes with little tiny pins to actually stick in him. Of course, I'll probably fill him with needles as well. But yeah. Um, and I got the raw natural linen for him. That's all. Oh, I got this piece of um, Weeks Dye Works Tin Roof Gingham. I've been looking for some of this. I've been wanting to try out this gingham for a long time. This is 8x12, just a tiny piece, but big enough to try something on. I think it's adorable. I love it. Don't know what I want to stitch on it, but I really like it. Um, I got some perforated paper, white and black. Got a few things in mind for these. One of them being the Voluptuous Mermaids. One of them being a surprise that I'll do one day. A nice nerdy surprise. Um, I got the first... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Got the silks I need for... Remember this one? Merchant Mermaid. This is the mirror I thought I might start soon-ish. So I got the Water Lilies I need, which are really pretty ones. Interesting colours, not what I expected. There we go. I got the fabric. Okay, I'll show you on the fabric. So there. This is not easy. There we go. Interesting, right? Yeah, interesting. Um, this fabric is not what I thought it would be. This is Cedar Plank from Lakeside Linen. 32 count. 18 by 27. By quarter. Um, and I thought this was going to be a bit darker and with a slight tinge of green. And it's not. I thought it would look kind of like what's there. A bit darker and just a slight bit green, but it doesn't. Kind of looks a lot like Zweigart cobblestone, just a tiny bit lighter. It's just a grey brown. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of not in love with it. So I thought I might maybe try out some of this rip that I bought a while ago. This is Kelly Green. And it looks like it's really dark. I've never dyed with Rip before. Um, but yeah, I might just try and green it up a little bit. I've also got taupe and dark brown. So I thought maybe I'd put a little bit of dark brown in with it to just to darken it a bit. Because I feel like I want this on a dark, just a slightly darker fabric. I don't know. See, I went to the fabric viewer and I put this on a bunch of different fabrics. Um, one of the options was maybe... Haunted from Picture This Plus. Yeah, wasn't, wasn't in love with it. Um, I didn't love the ones that were like bluey greeny because it was just too much green with this tail. Um, but I did like one called Lupine. L-U-P-I-N-E. Like wolf-like. <laughs> um, Lupine from Picture This Plus and it was a really dark brown. So, I don't know. I think a bit darker, a bit more greeny and I'll probably be where I want to be. And that's what I thought this was going to be, darker and greener. Um, otherwise I might get a piece of Haunted in the sale, the Picture This Plus sale. Um, I've been filling up my cart already for the Picture This Plus sale. I do this thing where I fill my cart up and then I take things out. So I put all the things I wanted in for Picture This Plus and it was a long way into the four digits. <laughs> um, it was a completely unacceptable number. <laughs> so I had to cut it down by like more than half. Uh, and now I think I have the cart that I want to order. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, if you don't know, the Picture This Plus Christmas in July sale is on the 25th of July this year. Um, you just order on the day. It's only for one day. Order on the day. I think it's 25% of everything. But I don't know. What you should do is go to their website and sign up for the newsletter. And they will tell you what the conditions are. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so that was my haul. I showed you everything. That's all I have for today. Um, I'm just going to go and stitch a bit more on that Mirabilia, Nora Corbett, Bella B. Um, I'm going to probably play with this and this. Make something pretty happen. Oops, not this one. The green. Make something pretty happen. 
and on the weekend I'm going to FFO Sarah and Slap Muffin and yeah that's all that's all I have to say I'll see you guys next time bye bye so I just have a little update for you guys I have dyed that that piece of um this was the cedar plank from Lakeside Linens and I've gone and dyed it and it started off this is cobblestone this is firefly fairies um, this is cobblestone. It started off pretty much the same colour, just a little bit lighter. And I've dyed it with a bit of um, Kelly Green top and dark brown. And I got this gorgeous colour that I'm in love with. It does not show up really that well on the screen, unfortunately. It's a little bit, it's quite a bit darker than what you're seeing. If I put a lot of white in the camera, it might make the colour over here look a bit darker. Yeah, that's a bit more of a more accurate colour. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. This is so much more what I expected to get. It's much more green. It's really nice. It's really pretty. I'm in love with this, actually. I couldn't be happier. I can't believe I did such a good job. <laughs> Never dyed anything before. Yeah, so it ended up being about five tablespoons of the top. Sorry, teaspoons. Um, one... Uh, about three quarters of a teaspoon of dark green sorry dark brown and about three quarters of a teaspoon of the, te the, the Kelly green no three quarters dark brown one and a half Kelly green and five of the top in four cups of water so and that ended up looking like this so yeah I'm very happy very very happy and it's nice and grainy and pretty even all over which is good because I didn't want too, didn't want too much variation variegation and unfortunately I've put the chart away otherwise I would show you 